the Usher halftime show, and if you correct me, my my illustrious co-founder as well. Is it called? Is the the Newt featuring Usher? Right? Is that yes? What you that is correct. To? That is when you look back in the history books, uh. it is definitely the Newt's featuring Usher. Um, the Kansas City Chiefs come in third place in their own Super Bowl. Mm. <laughs> it's the mm. Newt's featuring Usher, featuring Taylor Swift, featuring the Kansas City Chiefs. Mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Matt Whitener with this man, bronze right. medal champions. So let's go with you first, Matt. Did you know already? You you on the inside of your fraternity and the organization? Did you know that this was going to happen ahead, or were you as shocked as other people to see your fraternity on stage with Usher? Neither. I didn't know it was going to happen, but I wasn't shocked. I mean, come on now, you know the go to baby. What we doing? <laughs> what we doing? Yo, it was a fire ass show. I mean, he represented for so many parts of the culture in the joint. I was like, yo, that fits right in, though. I mean, there wasn't a lot of like black moments that wasn't unturned in that one. And I don't want to get too far ahead of where we at, but 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 yeah, no. Nah. I mean, apparently somebody knew because they were sending out official emails from IHQ and all sorts of stuff like <laughs> five seconds afterwards. But uh, but yeah, 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 yeah. That was a that was a that was a nice little little addition to the situation. So, Stacy, what did you? What were your thoughts on the? the I um, I enjoyed it. I, I liked the performance. You know, I always want more. Um, I'm always like, that's it. Like, I just like, oh, I want some more. Um, but there's there was nothing wrong with what I saw. Like, I wouldn't change anything. I mm -hmm. wanted more. I just want like, I don't want this to end. I want this to keep going. Um, I did see um, some members of Cap Abyssai Fraternity Incorporated. Um, I'd also like to give a shout out to my daughter, uh, Camille uh, Boyd Gilmore, member of the Gamma uh, Zeta chapter, Spring 01, who was one of Usher's dancers. She was skating on stage. So she may not have had a baton out there and been twirling her candy cane, but she was out there on <laughs> stage. <laughs> He didn't put the church finger up. Time out. This is a black well, history moment. This skate. is a black history moment. And in this month, we not finna, yes, we not finna degrade black yes. history like that. Nimble and graceful out there. So shout out to my sore Camille um, Boyd Gilmore. Um, you know, so a whoop to her. Um, the noops were not the only people that were in attendance. At, um, they were not the only ones wearing crimson. <laughs> she had them skates on, though, you say, huh? She had on the skates. She had some special on her feet. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, when um, Usher was performing uh, Bad Girl and the women came out on skates, she was one of those women. On the Scott, skate. what were your thoughts overall of the show? Oh, man, I, I was hyped from beginning to end, and he kept it R&B the whole way. Like, you ain't never seen R&B rock a uh, halftime show like that. I mean, unless it was Beyonce, but the skates killed it. He slid through Will I Am's legs and hit some little move. I was uh, concerned. I was concerned. He almost did not make it through Will I Am's yeah, legs. Yeah, I was a little <laughs> on the skates too, though. <laughs> on the skates, like the skates stopped skating. It almost went to a tragedy. We almost went, this almost had turned because even he had hit that double leg slip. I was like, yeah. oh no. Like, oh, Usher, he's 45. He forgot he was 45. Listen, <laughs> by the end of the show, because I just rewatched it before this, by the end of the show, look at that. <laughs> he 45 by the end of that show. Oh, it's, yeah. Uh, yeah, them, uh, some of them moves wasn't as crisp as they were <laughs> at the beginning. Like, they wasn't, like he, it wasn't gone, but you could just tell he needed some water in just a, little, a few minutes. Yeah, That's shout out to um, uh, Jackson State Marching Band. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, so Sonic Boom, Boom. Sonic Boom. Boom of the South, yeah. uh, her on the guitar, yeah, Alicia Keys coming out with the red sequence. <laughs> I'd like to point out a quote directly from the New York Times uh, that Alicia Keys gratuitously flubbed the opening note. Um, uh, of, uh, yeah, I, yeah. <laughs> yeah like, I heard that. Yeah, immediately, like as soon as she opened her mouth, the first note was wrong. And it was like, so now it's like, it's that meme. If you, if you send that picture of Alicia Keys, that means we already starting off on a bad note. Starting off uh, on a bad note. Right, you know, if you rewatch it, if you rewatch the version online on CBS, they edited it. You know that, right? Did they? Uh, they, they, they put, they, they, they it's, it's the right pitch. Like, they like, it's like, it's like it's good. They over redid it. 
Well, luckily I DVR'd it, did it, it. Right, but I mean, if you go to Paramount Plus and watch, you know, watch it on the screen. <laughs> Listen, yeah, man, what's like, bad about this is when we're talking about you say, see Scott, see, you say <laughs> it made it look good. When we gotta start talking about people's notes, like we had a repass. See, see that that bothers me when we gotta look at it and be like, yeah, they did her, they did all right by her when they went back in and overdubbed her with herself. She sing just like herself. <laughs> she sing just like herself. <laughs> That's the Alicia we remember. That's how I want to remember her. Alicia, the problem with Alicia is that she truly believes in her heart and soul that she is a soprano. And the reality is, is that she's not. She is not now, nor has she ever been. But she believes it in her heart. And it's just not in her ministry. Um, God is trying to tell her something and he tried to tell her last night um, to let it go uh, or night before last to let it go. But that's let not it, what let it, let it let it burn. <laughs> yeah, let it burn. <laughs> um, that's what's supposed to happen. And so as soon as she stop. It. Oh, <clears throat> So, like, okay, wait, hold on. You need to pull it now, together. Hold on, now let's put this. Let's 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 put this on the on the right track here. Did it hit the Carl Lewis zone or stumbling out the blocks? I'm talking about national anthem, Carl Lewis. Uh, I know exactly what you meant when you said that. I know exactly <laughs> what you meant. No, I mean That's she pulled Lewis it together. Definitely. She, uh, you know how when you first wake up and you first talk, that 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 first sound, that first word to come out ain't right. To take you, you have to. <clears throat> I feel like she hadn't talked in a second, mm. and she needed to clear her throat before she started talking. There was some, there was some crazy degree of difficulty moments in that performance. Um, you know, we we mentioned a lot of people that popped up. Somebody got left out, and I ain't finna. I'm not finna just let us just just omit that though, um, because Jermaine Dupree. Oh. Yeah. Oh. The see, baby girl socks. See, somebody <laughs> like said somebody said he hopped up there looking like a Cabbage Patch Kid, and I, I wasn't quite <laughs> able to rally myself. Cabbage that boy, that boy was dressed like a pilgrim. <laughs> Eddie Munster, that man had on the exact same outfit that JFK Jr. had on. It is no. Hey, oh, hey no, nah, they said he, he was dressed like he was ready to land on Plymouth Rock. No. <laughs> <laughs> It's just like what, the, and then try to come out and tell us what are they some Louis Vuitton or whatever the socks was. That's 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 case in point where man a, a brand can't save you every time, and that's it. It yeah. cannot. It that just, could have been made from the from the from the shroud of Turin, and the, 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 the cloak matter. of Jesus Himself, and we would have had issues with that. And I wouldn't have mind seeing them in the Braves jersey again, just to keep it Atlanta. <laughs> Put on a Falcons jersey or something. Right. What is this song. outfit, sir, that you have chosen to put on? Why did this whole outfit come from Baby Gap? <laughs> they oh. dressed like Boss Baby. <laughs> That's exactly what the hell he was dressed like. I had them same ruffled socks for Easter 1987. My grandma got them over in Wilson at the what they call it, the juvenile shop. I think it's still open over there. That's the only place you can get a slip back in the day. They, them same ruffled socks. The exact same ones. A, a, a juvenile shot. That's a man. That man. How old is Jermaine Dupree? 50, 52? Out, too damn out, old for that. Yeah. Too, yeah, too old to be wearing that. <laughs> Way too damn old for that. Like, why? It's not even a matter. Of, here's the thing about it is it's not even a matter of they do they make that in that size. <laughs> like, that's the size it's supposed to be in. That's, 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 you that's definitely, bullshit, you absolutely. Man. You bought that out of the toddler section of Children's Palace, and we need to talk about it. Or was that children's, like ch children's place? Children's place. Children's Palace. Wait a minute. I just wait. A minute. I that's just a toy store. Myself. I just told y'all how old I was when I said Children's Palace. Oh, that's also like, Children's Palace. Hey, oh, ain't that the toy store? You like? Hey, like I just told y'all how old I was. I meant Children's Place. Like for the young it's folks. Children's Palace. That was that. Oshkosh. Like Children's Palace for your time. It was way before your time. What was you guys' highlight? What was you guys' highlight? Like, were you just like, oh, I mean, Matt, I know yours. So, so Usher's I mean, performance or the news? Yeah. Which one? <laughs> <laughs> I'd like for us to separate which performance we're talking about. Okay. The, the warm up, the warm up, the performance, <laughs> or the after party. <laughs> The My warm favorite up. part of the performance was obviously, you know, the, the the main core part of it. My favorite part of the pre-show 
was whatever part where he did uh where he did you gotta you I think Let It Burn was was in the after party. Hey, this cool ass Scott from the I Love Nineties Music Podcast. Hit that subscribe button right now. Like it on the SOLC network. You finna get all the real deal on the nineties, the two thousands, and the splash of that eighties. Do it right now, man. And I'll be your friend.